um, today yeah. I have as a guest Sherry. Uh, Sherry, so tell us more about you. Who are you? What's your name? Where are you from? Okay, so thank you, uh, Veronica, for having me. My name is Belize Sherry. I'm from Haiti, and I am a young man who really passionate about leadership. So I found that leadership is a wonderful skills that can bring change to the world. And I'm assuming it, I've been learning about leadership from years and I'm striving to teach other people or they can um, adapt the leadership mentality to sustain long-term long success to their lives. And uh, as, a, as a teacher, I teach um, kids um, just about computer and an orphanage. So um, we partner with uh, an organization from Portland, Oregon, who call and which call and Converse, um, who, who uh, mission is to create a better generation and a they um, provide education um, to the people to the kids, they um, provide shelter, they really, really give them the opportunities they need to, um, to, to sustain their lives. They can um, take along the way to make a difference in Haiti. And also I'm um, working to sustainable agribusinesses in Haiti. It's one of my endeavor because uh, my country is very low in the economy. So I would like to start something to build to see how can I contribute to make a really a significant change in the economy. In the economy. Okay. Um, what would you like to change in your life and how do you think to change that? Okay, so um, the first thing I take the journey, I took the journey uh, many years ago to change is my mindset. <coughs> Sorry. Because, because I know the mind is really <coughs> to control our lives. You know, uh, the book um, called, um, um, Thinking for a Change by John C. Maxwell. So this book explains the difference between successful and unsuccessful people is how they think, they thinking. So if someone wants to really change their lives and lives or whatever um, to make significant change, start by investing in your mind, you know, because if you don't have a shift mindset to become a better person, you will not be able to, to make anything better than you than um, than you before before and so when 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 the mindset is shift, you become a better person, you will be able to take to take the exact action to make the significant change you really want to make um hey sorry i can't hear you well So, Veronica, I I couldn't hear what you what you just said.
system. Okay. So I I don't hear nothing. Hello. I can't hear. So. Um, okay. Hello? Yeah, and now? Yeah, I hear you now. Okay, no, because from my side, uh, everything is, is okay. Okay, maybe there is some problem for me. <laughs> Yeah, it could be. So there are devices, and uh, it could could happen. What I was saying, yeah, that, um, uh, you gave an excellent example for another people too, uh, because yeah. uh, we call this in business coaching uh, the shifting of the the mindset, yeah, the way of thinking. Uh, and, yeah, and you are how you think. And the quality of your life depends as well on, on your way of thinking. Yeah. And everything what you create in your life depends on your level of thinking. So I created a strategy about the level of thinking and how is created the world. And we have uh, three level of thinking, the low, the middle and the high. So, and it means uh, uh, that uh, the, the low uh, level, so they are the employees, the mid middle one are um, the people who are striving to work at their cell, at their mindset. And the third uh, level of thinking are the creators that are the people who are changing the world. Yeah, of course. So, um, you know when when um <clears throat> when you have a, a bad mindset so you you never you will never see possibilities you know because great people think possibilities they always the uh, what could work what could be you know and they 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 took the ex they take the exact action to make things happen but i, I have a saying that said when we believe there is hope we're taking tremendous action. And when we're taking tremendous action, we build hope. So without the belief, if you don't believe it's possible, you won't take the exact action to make it happen. Because you say, oh, it's not possible. I can do nothing. So you, you just let, let, let it go. Yeah, but, but when you believe it's possible, you will take the exact action to make things the right, happen. The right action, yes. I am uh, totally agree with you, but there is uh, something else. As I explained it uh, previously, there are different level of thinking. And if uh, yeah. these people who is aware of their level of thinking of level, level of development, yeah? And they know that they don't have the right skills to, yeah. to grow up, yeah? So it means that so you or they, they have to work a lot at their mindset and to develop the skills to can achieve their goal. This is a growth process. Um, and so I'm very glad for the people who is aware of, of their growth process, but um, for the people who is not aware of, of their personal development and at which stage are they so i think that um uh, this is a possibility for them to get awareness just um yeah because that's that's the reason why today we are here so we are creating awareness for another people and we give them the possibility to uh, change to transform their life and this is yeah. the way how uh, people can change their life because uh, a lot of them they are not aware how to change that, and that's that's the the, the biggest problem, you know, because yeah. everyone uh, wants a better life, 
not only you or or, or me everyone yeah. wants wants a beautiful life yeah of course but they don't know the steps that they have to take to grow up and and to yeah. achieve their their uh, dream life yeah i so, have a, um, yes uh, mm -hmm. uh, tell me yeah you can you can go no because i i wanted to ask you something also um what was your aha moment during your um uh, personal development process when you discovered that, that oh yeah so that you you have to grow to achieve your dreams okay so um i've read a book um from 2016 so that book um they titled um um the winning attitude the key for personal success the winning attitude so this book is written by john c maxwell so this book is really a great book that um that put me in the journey to personal de development so after i reading that book so <clears throat> this book is make a a a, a really um make, make something very special in my mind so after that that i took that journey so okay i can become better because it's possible after i reading that book so i found some great skills um when you when you when you are a positive person you will be able to go you will be able to help others you will be able to um see um possibilities in every situation so there is something in the, in this book that uh, a statement that's really very stick with me so john maxwell said in this book um opportunities always around there is always opportunities so and he say it goes um failure just an opportunity to learn mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um sickness just an opportunity to heal hatred just an opportunity to love sin just an opportunity to forgive so in every situation so they the people who really have a positive mindset we'll see what can i do to make things better we don't minimize the reality but together we can bring some solution you know yes and but, but uh, my question to you was what was your aha moment when you oh, discovered that you you have to grow to change your life okay okay so and so um when 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 i discover that moment so um after after i read that books so i told myself wow i should become better i should become someone who can inspire others to make the change they want as you said everybody want a beautiful life everybody want to make an impact but the problem is they don't know how to make it happen yes. so i i and this book so i told myself i'm gonna read as many book i can because i found book made made an impact and me you know because before I didn't see. I I I wasn't a, a big dreamer. Yeah, I didn't see opportunities. I wasn't a big dreamer. I just I I I didn't see beyond my my situation. You know. Yeah, After because I, read that, I call yeah. this I call this a blind spot because. Um, yeah. Uh, because of of your background, of your education, environment so um it affects everything in your life and your mindset yeah. as well 
and then you yeah. you are focusing yourself on on your daily routine where you are living in and you cannot see uh, outside your comfort zone because you yeah. you are in your own comfort zone and it feels comfortable at at the same time but it's painful why because you want mm -hmm. to ex you want to experience the changes but you don't move yes. forward and now my question yeah. to you is what did you experience it when you started to uh, to make changes oh yeah so um as you said change change is painful you know um everyone listening um now or watching so um change always very hard difficult you know because when you take that decision to change that to change your behavior to change your 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 physical to make to go to the gym to yeah you will feel the pain you will feel it and you will lose people along the way so yes. you will lose friend also you know yeah I, I found that when I take that decision to 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 embrace um, the, the the journey, to embrace the change, to um, go outside my comfort zone, so it was very difficult, and it's been very 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 difficult because in the in the journey, um, the people who who was around me who don't decide to take this journey will judge me, you know? They, they judge me, they judge me. They don't uh, understand my, 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 my decision, you know? Because I started by, um, by uh, uh, take other decision. When they uh, see um, things like entertainment, but I found it's time to read books. When they see, they, they want to look at some, uh, movies and youtube so i watch some leaders like uh, john c maxwell so when they so it's time to go um to do some fun and i decided so now in my schedule and my to-do list it's time to do something else that will um put me closer to my gym that will help me in this process so it was very very hard because when you take that decision to go out of your comfort zone, you will lose me you, you you will lose many things. You will lose friends, you will lose um how can I say? Um John yes. Maxwell said, um I, yes, but I listened why, to why a did podcast. you lose sorry, I have another question. Why did you lose uh, many friends uh, in your opinion? I know why, but I want to hear your okay. opinion. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the reason is because um, every levels you take in your life, you will become another person, you know? You will become the, the better version of yourself. And those people, if they don't see things the way you see it, they will start by judging you, see they, you, you, you are not fit to them, you know? So they will, they will try to convince so, you that you are not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. So they, they see there's a shift, there's something different. It's not true. It's not, it's not up to you to say, so I'm not going to be your friends. So, you always open to embrace people. You always open to to going. You know, but if they don't decide to shift the mindset, they don't believe the way you believe. They will see, oh, it's a it's not a good fit. They will go away from you. When you invite them to come to talk, they will not have the excited to come believe in what you're saying. So, and. There are some people and some friends who believe where you believe. They will always stick together. They will go with you. They will help you go. They will uh, challenge you to go. You know, 
But the people who don't decide to change, change their mindset, they will not um, want to be offered anymore. I have another question to you. Uh, this question is very, very interesting and challenging. Why? Because this question is related to, to your previous uh, uh, topic um, about your self image. How do you see your self? What, what do we think about your self? And where are you now? And where would you like to, to arrive? Okay, you, you talk about my self image. Yes, what, how do you see yourself? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So, for, you know, there is something in the beginning I, I, I wanted to say it, but uh, I forget to say it. So, you know, I am a farmer, my father, is a farmer. Yeah. We was good cow, and um, and we 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 are doing many other activities in the country, and our hometown to make a living. Yeah. yeah. And we we are a big dreamer, you know. We are a big dreamer, but as we are big dreamer, and we are living in a country that's very poor there there isn't many opportunities as other country so sometimes i feel like so why to 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 dream big like that you know who i'm to big dream to want to make an impact in the world why and when i remember so when it, wherever you are, you have potential in you and you can serve. And when you decide to serve, you will fight, you will define greatness, you know, because um, the things that really um, define our greatness is our enthusiasm to self, to help, you know. But I saw myself. As someone who can make an impact in the world, even through challenges, um, difficulties, yeah. where I live. So I just believe that I can do, I can make an impact. So that's why I never play small. I never play small. I never um, play the victim mode, you know? To say, okay, I live in a uh, in a country where things are very difficult, so I need to settle to to uh, little things. No, I don't myself. So it's hard, but I can. I can with the grace of the Lord, I can do great things. But yeah, you know? this is yeah, the most powerful uh, motivation of you because you have a very big why, a very motivational why. Um, yeah. And why do you want to create more impact in the world? Okay. Okay, so the, the reason why I want to create more impact, you know, I found the, 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 out, the, the, the outcome I get from reading books, from investing myself, from um, talking to like-minded people like like you, to going to webinars, seminar, to um, to network with um, great people all around the world. So mm -hmm. I done myself as I journey. I would like to impact other people, to inspire other people to do the same, and to make the world a better place. If we have more people who <clears throat> who think positively in the world, we, are, we will have a better world. So I, I, I don't see um, only my country. As I'm doing work to motivate people in my, as and when I go in uh, seminars, when I teach uh, my Sunday school at church, when I teach the kids in the orphanage, uh, I always want to, to, to inspire about leadership inspire them about positive thinking, thinking positive. 
um, about mindset, you know? And I told myself, if I can inspire people from many countries, inspire people from different backgrounds, I can make a great contribution to the world. Because, and John Maxwell has a book that will be out uh, um, this month, mm -hmm. uh, Change Your World, Change Your World, titled Change Your World. So I don't see, <clears throat> to really make, make uh, a real difference in the world, you need to be willing to um, go yourself to impact many people. You, um, there is a saying in the book, you don't need, need other people's permission. You just need to give yourself permission, you know? Yes, give yourself course. permission. Because no matter where permission. you live, no matter. Yeah, you, you need to give yourself permission. No matter where you live, no matter your background, no matter um, where you're from. As I'm from Haiti, I give myself permission. No one come to me to say, hey, Belize, you can make an impact. You can inspire people. So I give myself that permission. I give myself that permission to shape my mindset yet to start by me investing myself with books um, that will help me to, to make an impact, to change, to help people see uh, 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 the world in a different view, you know? Because <clears throat> positive thinking is very, very huge. It's very, very important, you know? Because even there, there are people who got many opportunities around them. But it's because the mindset, they can't see that opportunity. If I can impact people, inspire people from many different countries, I contribute to the things that is very important to everyone. To move, to move forward. As, um, which is making the world, yeah, making the uh, so I have another question to you. Uh, what is your mission? Okay, <laughs> so that's a very good question. Thank you. Um, okay, my mission, my life, you know, is to create, to help, to make the world a better place. Mm -hmm. It's or small I can but it's my mission to create better quality lives to many people, to help to make, to improve, to make the world a better place. As I said in my introduction, so one of my endeavors is to, uh, is to help AT increase its production level as to grow food, you know, and I read that a, for, for a country to, to um, become great, to become um, a good country, it, it has to be able to feed the, 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 um, the people, you know, any country. If you can't be able to feed your people, it's very, there is a great gap, you know, you need to make some great effort to go. And I told myself, so it's very difficult to build a sustainable agribusiness here in Haiti uh, due the bad uh, politic situation, you know, protests every time. Mm -hmm. But I believe in what's possible. Yes, I of take course, the first step. Because we I, made the possibilities. So if you uh yeah. are a creator if you believe uh profoundly in yourself in your potential first of all uh, you create the possibilities for yourself and for another people but i have um, a deeper question regarding your mission uh could you express your mission in one sentence in just uh only one cent okay <laughs> so how are you gonna help the people uh, yeah to create uh, i got effect? you okay so um i i i would like to answer that question 
by saying from John Maxwell, John C. Maxwell. Mm -hmm. And his book, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, he said, everything rises and falls on leadership. You know, everything rises and falls on leadership. So as everything rises and falls on leadership, so the best way to make change in this world is to help people to become good leaders, to help them to, um, leadership is not a position, uh, as John Maxwell said, and Simon Sinek said also, leadership is a decision, is a decision, is influence, you know? So if I impact many people to adapt the leadership mentality, so, and those people will have influence to other people and that they they work will 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 be will will continue continue and continue and that will compound and make a greater impact uh, and the and they book developing leadership they were on you john maxwell is saying that if you want to compound change you need to develop other leaders you know that's why if i inspire people about leadership help them to see what's possible and they will make change in their countries, they will make change in their families and their communities and that will compound and my mission will found and accomplish by this work because many people will make change everywhere in the world. Uh, yeah, so you explained it very detailed, but I didn't hear this sentence. Why I asked you, because so it, um, it regards your uh, knowledge as well uh, about how to create your own branding. Yeah. And uh, from your answer, okay. I can see it uh, that you are not enough are acknowledged with uh, with that how to create your own branding and why i asked you this question uh to express your mission in one uh, sentence because that's your promise to your audience so you have to be able oh, wow, to, okay. express, to express your mission in one sentence so uh how are you gonna okay help your audience through your promise. What, what do you want to promise to, to your audience? So that's that's the oh yeah this, the the key of your strategy. Yeah, if you you want to become a coach or a public speaker. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah. Um, now, now I yeah, have. Yeah, I I, another... I will yeah. uh, explain it. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, please. Oh yeah, go go ahead. No, I uh, okay. I have so, another uh, question. But if you want to tell me something, mm -hmm. just uh, just say it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, yeah, just so cool. Okay, and in one sentence, I will describe my my meaning. Okay, so. The best way to make positive change is change yourself first. Change yourself, help others. Mm -hmm. That's all. Change yourself, help others. This is a conviction. Conviction. So we call this is in NLP coaching conviction. So it. This is your belief. Is what you are. Uh, believing yeah but uh, uh when we talk about mission so uh i give you an example just to to help you to get more clarity yeah and what you want to to create okay um uh nike the brand nike so they have the strategy about sport for example yeah 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 and they use the slogan just do it and because their audience is the people who love sports so they are uh, using this sentence just do it so and 
that's the reason what I ask it you yet to express your uh, mission in one sentence because if you know who is your niche it and you have clarity then it's very easy to you to express your mission in one sentence but if you don't have clarity who is your niche exactly then you cannot answer uh, this question yeah oh wow Do you understand uh, oh yeah. I, I, sounds good yeah uh, i got no, you i got you what, what you're saying yeah so, no this is a, a true uh, <laughs> um, um how can i call this a branding development process so uh, we have in the in the marketing the um, your identity brand model yeah i have created one okay uh, and so it's very, very important from the start. So when you, you start, yeah, you have to find out who is your niche and who is your best client, who are you going to help and how are you going to help and yeah. why. And your purpose yeah. and to now your mission okay. and purpose. So uh, there is... um. A big reason why I asked you this this question. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, okay. I got you. So, um, you know this book, um, emotional about intelligence. emotional intelligence. I Talk have about created. Clarity. I have created yeah. a program so, about emotional intelligence. So. Wow! Sounds good. Congratulations. So, um. You know, you, you, you need to have a clear vision. As you said, you need to um, know clearly uh, which you wish and all you're gonna to serve them. And to, to answer in a quick way, just to dive in and continue and how. And so I would like to inspire people who have a dream to give their dream all they 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 have all they have mm -hmm. you know give your dream all you've got give your dream all you've got because um there are many people from around the world who have a big dream and never take any action toward that dream so um from um la last uh, last december last november I got this book from my mentor and never hit the news button. This book is talk about um, the little things, mm -hmm. why the little things matter, why you, uh, uh, why you should care, why you should care about them, you know? So <clears throat> those people have this big dream and they never take the small step to get there you know and my mission is to help those people to make the significant change in their mindset to to say okay it's possible i'm gonna make the first step step to accomplish my big mission my big goals um they different they, they are saying that said the difference between who who you are and who you want to be is what you do so if you want to make an impact you have a big dream so why 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 wait why start now why wait until until um you you get the exact opportunity or uh, why you don't get uh, put yourself out and start by doing things that start by network by making um, uh, something that will put you closer. So I found that really helpful to people Powerful. who've got dream, who want to make an impact. Yes, uh, I want to add uh, something uh, related uh, uh, to, to your uh, topic. Um, your attitude and actions determines your results. And, and the quality yes. of of what you are doing so um i'm using always uh, this motto uh, small droplets of waters yeah they forms the sea and the oceans 
Do you understand okay. this metaphor? Say it again. Uh, the small, Say it again. The small, small droplets of water deforms the sea and the ocean. This is a metaphor, yeah? If you understand metaphors. Wow, uh, sounds good. Uh, so it means that if you- Try to explain it. If you take, if you take small steps every single day, just imagine what will happen during one year uh, with, with, with your behavior, with your attitude and with your mindset. Uh, Billy, sir, are you there? Because I cannot hear you. Hello? Uh, I don't know why today we, we have all the day technical issues. Um, I hope that you hear me. Uh, the internet connection is unstable. 